it out. And that's by pitting those two teams together, which is exactly what we're going to do right now. Now, uh, if you are wondering, the Pelicans will be in the sky blue color. The Ravens will be in the crimson color. And so our match will be underway very shortly. Remember, this is a best of five series and everyone's on the pitch. For the Ravens, we have Kmart, the only raid, and Vexel. On the side of the Pelicans, we have Chasson, Flan High, and King Muff. Game one, underway. I keep messing his name up. It's three <laughs> three with him, with, with him on, on stream, and uh, I keep doing this. Flying High, though, uh, after a nice face-off win by his teammate, uh, could not make a save. And, uh, well... Now it's one to nothing already for the Pelicans. The early lead for the Pelicans and early deficit for the for the Ravens here. Ravens are going to go back on the attack though really quickly. It's going to be a nice clear out of the way. Over to Kmart. Kmart is going to try and pass it in front. It's going to be cleared out into the center where it's going to be stopped by flying high. Raid. Getting a nice shot. There's a pass here by Vexel but no one there. And now all three players for the Pelicans went and only once, uh, two went and one stayed back, flying high, making that save while well, he was the only one back. Raid. Having a nice 50, and getting a second nice 50. Kmart's gonna go up, he's gonna miss it though. He's gonna go over to Vexel. Vexel, he's gonna shoot it wide, he's gonna shoot it over to the corner. Over for a teammate. Raid is gonna get it. He's gonna bounce off the wall, he's gonna get a double tap. That's not gonna go in, that's gonna go over to Vexel, but Vexel backs out of it as he saw that a Pelicans player had it, and he makes a nice save on Chasen. Flying high, grabs this ball. He gets picked off by uh, by Raid. Raid tries for the double tap, can't get it, and then his shot is very weak. It's gonna be cleared out by Chasen. It's gonna be intercepted by Kmart back into the corner. It's gonna be a nice 50 by Flying, but he can't get the second touch, uh, touch off Vexel. It's gonna go back into neutral territory. King Muff tries to beat that, but can't. Jason tries to keep it in the Raven zone. He does. He's gonna pass it out in front to his teammate. It's gonna be cleared out by Vexel. Vexel grabs this ball. He's gonna try and pinch it. He can't do so. It's gonna be cleared out by my, uh, by Muff. Grabbed by Vexel. Vexel grabs this ball. He's gonna win a 50 there. It's gonna drop towards the front of the net. It's gonna pass it in front to a teammate. That teammate is blocked off. And that's a great save there. Flying high, he's gotta pass it over to Chase and back to Flying High. Flying High beats his man, but can't beat Vexel here. Vexel's gonna uh, get it, but he's not gonna be able to win that 50. Both of his teammates are behind him though, and are able to get the clear. It's weak, and it's gonna go over the crossbar and not go in. Vexel gets a nice 50 and gets the ball back into neutral territory. Kmart can't hit that ball, and now it's gonna be Pelican's uh, territory and uh, uh, Pelican's possession. King Muff grabs his ball, beats two, but can't beat the third. Kmart clears it all the way back. And now we're gonna have to start from scratch on the Pelicans and but two get beat on the Pelicans. Kmart can't get that ball. Ch uh, Raid is going to have to get this. He's gonna try, no he can't. Flying High gets it first. Kmart tries to get this ball. Doesn't uh, win that 50. And now the Pelicans are in the Raven zone. Chasen with his Scarab can't get that ball. And it's gonna be clear all the way back into the uh, the Ravens cor uh, the Pelicans corner. It's a pass Ooh. in front. And that's a beautiful pass in play. And Vexel gets his first goal in the series. The Pelicans were holding on so well in the midfield. And eventually they just get broken down by the Ravens there. That was very good play by both teams. Both teams playing extremely well there. There was a lot of back and forth, and I I quite enjoyed watching that uh, ping pong match. But uh, at this current time, it's very tight. As we both predicted, this is a fi this is probably going to go to five games with how tight both of these teams are. Don't you agree? I do. I think it's really going to come down to the mentality of each team as Chase and goes for the bumps, the savagery does try to go for those they don't really work out as they as the ball doesn't go in but let, let's be honest here is it going to work out uh it, it's going to go down for me for who can make the oh, least amount of mistakes oh, no. oh my goodness oh so raid coming in clutch on the goal line so many beams there and uh oh my goodness that, i'm surprised that didn't go in 
That shot is Ooh, saved. That was by a King good Buff. save. That's a good save by King Buff. Chasing's up to this on the scarab. Axel makes a nice save. It's gonna go back into the Raven zone though. One minute left, tied in the game. Neither team is wanting to be the one who makes that critical mistake. Well, there have been a few critical errors here and there. That's a beautiful play. Vexel finishing off that play. Who was this? Was this Raid? Raid with that beautiful Raid. there. Oh, the wow. awareness. Well, F's in the chat for the uh, for Vexel's earlier miss. Well, he's made up for that. He scored his second, and uh, now his team's back in front. And uh, that earlier miss, all forgotten about. Now the Pelicans are the ones who need to get a goal. They scored really early on in this game, but they haven't been able to find the back of the twine since. Raid. Gets this ball, he gets it over one, and then Kmart's gonna grab it. He puts it into the corner. It's gonna be King Buff and Chasen. Is that pinch is that wild. Out. That's a very good clear. That's gonna go over to Flying High. That's a nice save by Vexel. That's, I do believe, his second save. So he's had two saves and two uh, two goals. This man's clutch on both ends of this field. Don't you agree? I do. Yeah. Uh, it looks like the Pelicans. Unfortunately, we're the ones to make that critical mistake. They were, and they are going to win game number one as uh, Ravens just capitalized on uh, on the mistakes of the Pelicans. Me Pelicans made three critical mistakes. Uh, two of them were capitalized on, and really the Ravens only made two mistakes. The one at the beginning of the game that allowed the Pelicans to score is, is three seconds in, and then the one where there was a catastrophe in front of the net, and I think four or five cars completely missed the ball. Uh, you're absolutely correct. Uh, that was wild. Raid making the clutch save and making the the clutch touch uh, at the other side of the field in front of the Pelicans then. And I want to point out the poll right now uh, that just ended. Ravens at 55%, uh, barely edging out the Pelicans. So it looks like popularity-wise, uh, Twitch chat is on your side, but it also just goes to show really how close these two teams are that not even Twitch chat can be one-sided. Yeah, that is that is true that a lot of, uh, normally it's really more one-sided. You, you you see more 60 to 70 percent, uh, not really so close together, like 55 to 45 percent, you know? It's, it's really in interesting to see that the people are voting for both teams because both, uh, uh, because people believe that both uh, both teams have a chance, and it's true. Both teams here are as tight as it can possibly be. They're both ten and seven, and both have been playing incredibly well so far. And although the the Pelicans have the better record in the last six games, in the last three weeks, ooh, you you can't take it away from the fr from the Ravens here that they've been playing solidly, especially ever since the uh, the bye week. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to make a quick call out to Bardtwan and uh, Squantle uh, in the Twitch chat. Uh, I am not going to say anybody else's name. Okay, well, uh, another early goal three seconds into the match once again, except this time it's in the opposite net. Hey, that's uh, that's something you see very rarely. Three, uh, three second goals are rare enough, but uh, it happening in back-to-back -back matches. Uh, that's and uh, to the opposite teams as well. Mm -hmm. That's uh, that's something extremely rare. I would think, wouldn't that be? Oh yeah, it would definitely only happen in this matchup, where both teams are so close together. Oh, oh Kmart. no, v uh, Vexel here went way too fast and misread that play. If Vexel had just been slowed down just a little bit, I'm sure he could have gotten that. Ooh man, the Ravens have really. Uh, shown up a little bit more in my opinion uh, in game number one game number two they seem to really be there as well the the, the pelicans are having a hard time install uh, installing their offense that was a weak shot by oh. flying high although it was a really good play it was just it really was you know i think one of the things that are helping the ravens uh put together their offense is how quickly they can get out of defense 
That was amazingly big clears. I've seen the uh, since game one. They've had a few of those really good clears, especially when they're oh, deep yeah. in their zone. Yeah, they're uh, making the quick passes in between teammates uh, out of defense. Uh, the kind of things that you're seeing in the AAA leagues and even major league right now as the main strategy. So that is definitely going to uh, give them the edge in this matchup, I think. I have to agree a bit. There we go. That's a nice save by uh, by Flying High. And a, a great save by King Muff as well earlier on in the play. He was at the right place at the right time to make sure that this game stays 1-0. What a dunk by Kmart. That's agreed. Kmart getting it done in the right way. But Flying High is still going to get it out of his own zone. Uh, they can't install their offense like the Ravens have been able to, but there's no real big bumps either. No demos, no big bumps. Uh, oh, here it oh, is. Oh, Jason has a chance if he can hook this. He tries to hook in front for King Muff. He can't do so, not fast enough. And it's going to be intercepted and cleared out by Kmart over to his teammate. It's going to go towards the front of the net. It's too weak of a shot. Vexel is going to take control of this ball. He's going to put it into his corner. High up for King Muff. He's going to pass it down in front. That's a nice save by Kmart. It's going to be cleared out. King Muff grabs control of this ball. He's going to clear it back. And that's a nice oh, bump. bumps are coming out. Uh, the bumps, as I was saying earlier, they weren't out that, that much. Well, there was a really good bump. And that's a nice uh, aerial hit there. That's going to go towards the front of the net, Kmart. Another nice save. And now both uh, players for the Ravens miss. And now Flying High, who is the second man there, Missed the ball completely, but he get uh, what is it? He got demoed. Uh, the Ravens uh, player did, but now oh, flying high in high. Of the game. We but are the seeing such parity between these two games. It was a quick kickoff goal. Uh, the the tie in the game happens right about the halfway mark. So now we just got to see who's gonna be able to hold their own and who's going to make the mistake. I do have to agree. Hey, uh, listen, there's only been one post hit this entire series, Pelicans. Uh, this entire game, my bad. And in three minutes time, we've had 11 shots and we've had seven saves and three goals. Only one shot has hit the post so far, which is an incredible stat when you think about it when, uh, for the A team, right? These guys aren't really known as sharpshooters. Uh, especially on Diamond compared to, to Major League, yet somehow these shots have all been on net. And it's very impressive to see that kind of consistency towards the front of the net, and it leads to the second goal for the Pelicans, and they now take the lead. But will that lead last with that pass over to Kmart? Uh, Vexel tries to win that 50 against Chasen. That's not going to happen. King Muff, he's got to pass it over to Chasen. It's intercepted by Raid. And now it's going to go back to Chase, and Chase can't grab that ball. Clear out by Raid once again. Over to King Muff. Vex is going to go up. He's going to hit that, and that's going to go over to Flying High. Flying High for a teammate. That's a very nice hit. It's going to go. No, that's intercepted before it could be uh, followed up towards the front of the net. And now no teammate is there. But King Muff is going to get a second opportunity. It's weak and off the uh, off the goal. Kmart is going to be one. Can't be two going to go off into the corner once again the Ravens need to get out of their own zone looks like the Pelicans have been in, uh, have been inside that zone for quite a while and Vexel makes a great pass there's a <gasps> shot and the fake oh, I don't even know if it was a fake or a whiff but it worked it did raid with I'm not going to say a powerful shot because that was only 62 kilometers an hour but both players there one on the inside one on the outside they both missed and now with 46 seconds to go, we're back at tied, and this is gonna be minimum five goals in this game. And oh, what, what a save by King Muff! Muff coming back out <laughs> into the goal after hitting the lip, and uh, somehow <laughs> getting in the right place at the right time, and everyone got to see that in its full glory. Chasing the nice shot towards the net. That one's a little bit slow. Easy saves. And that's Raid trying to get it past Muff. Can't do so. Jason going to get it out. He's going to get a 50 blocked. against Kmart. That's a nice 50 for both players there. He's going to go over to Flying High. He's got uh -oh. past it in front. Muff is intercepted. It's blocked off. And this ball, once it hits the floor here, we're going to go off to overtime. 
<laughs> Just to answer uh, stream uh, the chat a little bit, uh, Taylor is not offering up any commissioner positions uh, tonight. <laughs> Unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, d uh, Danger isn't playing. Dangerous Go is not playing tonight, so uh, we do we do not have commissioner spot open, sadly. All right. Well, now we've we've uh, we're, co we're gonna continue watching this. I don't know how to call it a a glorified ping pong match, really, because the, these clears by both teams oh, have been Tied back and forth. And now the series is tied, and back and forth we go. One to one is the series. Three to two is the final score of this match. King Muff bringing Ooh. his big guns out and shooting it right into the far side. No one expected him to be that kind of sharpshooter. No, I was just going back to look at the uh, the the stats for their shooting percentage. And Pelicans only have a 32.6 shooting percentage, but Ravens are at a 40.43. Yes. And so you'd expect them to be putting a lot of their shots right on net. And well, with, with this game, they have a 33% shooting percentage, which, which isn't bad. But look at the Pelicans. They also have that 33% shooting percentage. Mm-hmm. So uh, uh, yeah. uh, one thing I... I'm super happy about it. When, when you have a game like this, where playoffs are on the line, uh, you're about to split a 10-7 a uh, win, uh, win percentage, you have two options, really. You, you have two teams that are going to go at it super defensively, playing very carefully, or like our case today, Pelicans-Ravens, they're duking it out. Nobody is sitting quietly in this matchup. No, everyone is going full out. Everyone wants to be in the playoffs. And uh, everyone wants a shot at that title. And uh, they're not going to give it up so easily. Now, watching both teams play two games so far, does your prediction change? Not at all. Not at all. The, see, the Ravens, uh, they're sticking to that short passing play. Uh, out of defense and then uh, waiting for their opportunities in offense. Whereas the Pelicans, uh, I don't know if you, you caught it, but they started making some mid-game adaptations. They started spreading out a little bit further. They started looking for more passes. And I think that mentality is really going to aid them in uh, the rest of this series. But we're going to have to see if the Ravens have an answer for it. That is true. But meanwhile, you have to imagine as I've said many, many times before, you got to get a team uncomfortable to start winning against them. And the Pelicans found a gear that really made the Ravens uncomfortable here. And mm -hmm. uh, it's up to the Ravens to change that. But as well, as, as a team, when you play, you don't want to overdo a strategy because once the other team finds it, uh, finds its solution, uh, then you're the one who's uncomfortable and you're the one who can't make plays! That's a great save by Raid. That's going wide. And Flying High is going to try and pass it off to a teammate. Raid doesn't get a King's good clear up. on it. And King Ooh. gets the nice angle on it after... I do believe... Yeah, Raid gets the weak clear. And, and Jason going for the bumps. Yeah. I was waiting all of game one, all of game two for this play to start working. And it took the first goal in game three to really click. All three games have started with first minute goals so far. Um, I'm glad that the three second trend is over though, but uh, the early goal trend sure isn't. A, a letting in a goal uh, 48 seconds into a match is not super good, but, and letting in two is not very good in the first one minute and nine seconds either. That King is a pop Muff. off if I'm if if I've ever seen one. King Muff. Is yeah, two going goals nuts. in a minute and ten seconds. King is on another level right now. He is not going to go quietly into this night. No, he will not go quietly. He does not want his team to go, and he will carry them on his back no matter how painful, no matter how many hours he needs to go to a chiropractor for. He's going to <laughs> carry this team, and. Uh, Oh my goodness, so far he's been doing a great job in game two. He's doing for this one too? Ooh, he tried, but it just whipped just a little bit to the left. 
and uh, that's a nice uh, clear out by Chasen. Over to King Muff, oh, and that's gonna go gonna towards the it. Raven's not the ready. Stars. Raven's no, it hits the post, and flying high is going to clean it up, and suddenly the Pelicans are the ones who seem to have taken the bull by the horns, and the Ravens don't have an answer. They're getting I swarmed. I want to point out that the Chasen uh, made a car change in between game two and three, and that might have indicated a strategy change for the Pelicans, but it seems like they're just, they're pulling the same kind of bullying offense that you'd expect out of like, I don't want to be uh, condemned for this again, but like the Ducks, I mean, <laughs> like, if you were going to make a comparison uh, between the two divisions, right now the Pelicans have it. Mm -hmm. They're rotating super quickly, they're making the passes, and King is just being the goal scorer. Uh, the same kind of role that... Uh, uh, Farrell. There we go. Farrell, yes. Uh, Farrell, Slice, oh, okay, and for that was Rick nuts. are all in that category, I would say. Uh, Speaking of which, though, See? I think the Ravens have had a little bit hard time because their all-star Raven, uh, the, the all-star Raven Vexel, uh, has been shut down since game number King one. King with King. a hat trick. A hat trick, and he got the assist on Flying High's goal. Well, it doesn't show in the assist category, but he was the one who got the clear over the Flying High. And uh, he definitely deserves that assist. I say he was a part of all four of the goals so far for the Pelicans. But it's not just a fact that uh, uh, King Muff is turned on. They also shut down Vexel. Vexel in game number one was a beast. And uh, they figured out a way, the Pelicans did, to, to quiet the beast. Speaking of which, Vexel can't get it over King Muff. He gets dunked on. And he almost scores again off of a dunk in his own zone. King Muff can do it all, apparently. Oh, yeah. He's been stellar on all sides of the field. That clear from the back wall earlier on to get uh, to get one of the other goals is was fantastic play. I do have to agree. King Muff just winning these 50s, winning these defensive touches, and... Uh, getting it to his teammates in a very good way. Flying High gets a very beautiful clear there and uh, tries to go for the dump, uh, for the for the bump on Vexel. Can't do so. So and, uh, if you're the Ravens, you have you have King who can't seem to not score. You have Flying High who is ruling the midfield. And then, you know, when you feel like you have just a happy time in defense, Chasen comes in and beats you up. What do you do? Well, Chasen, honestly, <laughs> is such a good defensive player. He can make the saves whenever they're needed. Uh, Chasen's going to come back. Oh, okay. No shot there. I was expecting a shot. And so is he. Quantum nearly cursing Chasen there. No. No. Caster's curse don't exist. Speaking of which. <laughs> it's like we have a little bit of confusion in the corner there. Right. But, uh, but oh, late game consolation goal. Uh, a late consolation goal to get the last laugh, maybe. But I, I think you've missed an underlying tone. Um, ever since the last minute of the game, ever since the fourth goal, the Ravens, uh, uh, like, they, they, there was two minutes left when the fourth goal was scored, but there was an undertone that changed with like a minute to go. They changed the way they were rotating, the Ravens did, and it kind of showed they're a lot more desperate right now, and they're going into the offensive zone, and although the Pelicans have been responding pretty neatly, that was going to be a goal. If that, if there was more time on the clock, that would have been 4-2, and um, honestly, the Ravens were playing really good in that last minute there. So if they continue playing that way and the Pelicans don't have an answer, they've let in two... Sh I I'm going to say they've let in one goal, but they were going to let in two there. And uh, listen, if you can't stop that, if you can't stop this new Ravens 
uh, strategy here. Well, then this is going to go over to game five as Pelicans take no game number three. They go up two to one. That's true. I'm really, uh, really afraid that the the Pelicans are going to ruin my prediction by winning the series early in a 3-1. But uh, they are on match point, and you do bring out some good points. The Ravens are trying to make those adaptations, but I feel like they're just too little too late. If they were going to take start taking this uh, series back from the Pelicans, they're going to have to make those adaptations from the first kickoff. Oh, uh, thank you, Taylor. Uh, there are a lot of uh, people just joining us. Uh, the winner of this series clinches their playoff spot. So there is a lot on the line going forward from this game, from and this series. If the Cougars lose their match, then both teams make the playoffs. But if the, t if the Cougars win, then whoever loses this match has a really good chance of not making the playoffs, which would be disastrous. Oof. Uh, <laughs> Bard, I think that's edging on quite inappropriate, even for banter. <laughs> In what way? <laughs> there's uh, there's you read many it? ways you can, you can say that out loud and uh, it not being okay. <laughs> well, what also Bar, is okay is that both of our predictions say that this game is going to Game 5. And uh, if this series does go to Game 5, that means the Ravens must win this one. And so, we're off to Game Number 4 to see if the Ravens can prove our predictions right and that we go to Game Number 5. And the way it is. 15 seconds in and no goals. It's a good start for the Ravens and the Pelicans. It is a good start, unlike games number one and two, where there were three second goals. But reminder that in game number three, there was still an early goal. They did let in a goal within the first minute, and uh, they let in two goals within the first minute and nine seconds. So there's still a lot left to go here. If you're if you're the Ra if you're the Ravens, you got to play stellar defense in this Chase game. Chase on. Flexing the mechanics a little bit, but raid. <laughs> Wow, I that isn't the first goal that Chase on scored, is it? Oh my, I do. I feel like it is. it is. I do believe it is. King Muff was about to steal it, and uh, Jason's like, "No, I need one." Uh, and he definitely did if he didn't have a goal beforehand. But uh, I don't. I wouldn't blame him for not having a goal. Playing the first two games with scare with the scarab. Oh, and the Pelicans. Playing game number four like they played game number three. Two really early goals in the in the game. And now the Ravens are really on the back foot already. Yeah, Kmart was in a good position to clear that ball out, but he just missed it on the back wall. And unfortunately, King was reading that miss quite well. Flying high, showing exactly how those clears off the backboard are supposed to go, and King Booting Chase on into this ball for the third goal. The Ravens are all over the place. They triple committed on offense. That's something you can't do when there when there's still four minutes left in a game and you're down two nothing. You just gotta uh, uh, put down that stone defense and and get the counterattacks going like you did in game number one. The Ravens were playing extremely well in game number one and two. The Pelicans really installed their game in game number three, and game number four, it's not much different, unlike what I thought I saw at the end of game number three. The, the Ravens can't replicate what they were doing at that time. You know, and I wonder if it has anything to do with the change in play style of the Pelicans, too, that's, you know, maybe I uh, got them nervous, or, uh, you know, like you said, uncomfortable. Bard, I have a message for you. I am a... I am an adult. What? That, that is an inside joke because I know what Bard uh, said with that line. Don't worry. It is an inside joke. <laughs> and that's why he says I'm beautiful. Ravens score their first. Vexel, that's his first goal since game number one there. And uh, that's very important with three minutes to go. They're, uh, they're down by two goals, but they can easily come back 
with three minutes to go here. Absolutely. And, you know, I do have Pelicans winning this, but I also, uh, I have money on my 3-2 prediction. So if they win early, uh, I'm going to be a little upset. <laughs> I am an adult! All right, I'm going to stop now. Please, that hurt my ears. And I can't imagine it was any better for the stream. <laughs> well, that's going to be a nice clear there. And King Muff is going to put it into the side. He's been popping off since game number two here. He... He's been playing absolutely terrific. He didn't play all too well in game number one, but in games two, three, and four, he's been flexing his wheels and his car body and whatever else you want to call uh, a car and its parts. This car has been playing to the best of its abilities. It, it certainly has, and... You know, I like that the Ravens are trying different kickoff strategies now, but again, we're halfway through the game and they're still three goals, three goals down. They are just not scoring at enough uh, of a frequency to actually make this turnaround. And flying is just going to make it that much more difficult for them with a fifth goal, 5-1. We've seen weirder comebacks before, don't worry, but with all the momentum on their side, the Ravens seem dead in the water here. The Pelicans are swarming around. They're, they're pulling a Raven on a ra on the Ravens. And uh, oh, the that demo, demo on is Vexel. Just... Uh, that is unnecessary. <laughs> Ooh, my goodness. Uh, Wizard uh, is uh, predicting uh, Brazil. I mean, a lot of people would enjoy a Brazil here, but uh, I don't think the players would. Uh, oh, not, not if you're a Raven. <laughs> not if you're a Raven or a Raven fan. Oh, and you know, if triple committing an offense wasn't enough, that was just another triple commit in defense. The Ravens are just all over the place. And that's a beautiful shot by King Muff there. That's a great save, but you got to score here. You, you, you have 80 seconds left. And you're down by four. You gotta score a goal every 20 seconds, and uh, that might be. No, oh, it's not. King. It's gonna be cleared out. The net's wide open. Do they finally have the their, their second goal? Yes, they do. That one almost slipped out of their reach when they were o a two on o. Oh. No defense. That Three nearly game, didn't win. 70 seconds, 69 seconds. If I'm being. Uh... Technically, technical here. Technically, technical. Um, well, it's possible. It definitely is. A goal every 20 seconds is not unheard of, but a goal every 15 seconds? Have you heard of that? Uh, I have heard of that, and it's, uh, it seems like it's a Pelican specialty. It uh, does. But along with, you know, King and having three goals per four shots, a 75% shooting percentage gets his second hat trick of this series. Game off has been absolutely goaded this series. And uh, that's my bad, my mic went away. Um, this series has been absolutely insane, back and forth. And uh, it's all thanks to King Muff, really. I I, I have to, oh, to say- Chase on. <laughs> Jason has had some great, great assists here and uh, really great off the ball play and i am you know i'm pretty much writing this writing this game off i think pelicans uh, pretty much sealed the deal here so pelicans are going to seal their uh playoff entry i don't know if the cougars can knock out the, uh, the ravens though the the ravens win percentage is much higher than that of the cougars and they did not get swept mm-hmm and so, that is the very final important. seconds in this match, the Pelicans are going to win this series 3-1 to one with a score of 6-2. to two. And uh, what a game if you're a Pelican. Hey, uh, Alvin B. James, uh, looking for people to play threes. There's a great place that you can look for players to play threes with. It is the official RLPC Discord which uh, Nightbot has been plugging for us. 
but GG's to Pelicans and Ravens. Uh, a little bit early of a win uh, than I had predicted, but a win nonetheless. Uh, I am very excited to see these players in the playoffs. What about you, Quantum? I have to agree, these players are going to be massive. There are eight players, but you still gotta watch these games. They're so interesting to watch. <laughs> and they're not they're not GCs, but let's be honest, they're not bad players by any means. Especially when you consider that. <laughs>